World Vision Canada visits an elementary school in the southern part of Zambia. A young boy approaches the crew's vehicle. He is very familiar with cars. His name is Samuel, and he's 11 years old. His dream is to become an auto mechanic. In order to become an excellent mechanic, he studies very hard. He greatly cherishes his opportunity to go to school because his family doesn't always have enough money to pay tuition. To the children in this area, going to school is not a given. Samuel brought us to visit his home. This is Samuel's father. He's a farmer. His crops field is some distance away from his home. He has to tread through a lot of tall weeds to reach his destination. Samuel is very clever. He helps his father with taking care of the crops. To harvest good crops from these lands requires high quality seeds. but the harvested crops don't fetch a high price. Furthermore, neighboring villagers also harvest the same type of crops. The more the competition, the cheaper the selling prices, impacting the amount of revenue earned tremendously. In this particular area, uh, more especially in vegetable growing, it's a valuable source of water. Because water is a challenge, you find that people they depend on shallow wells to water their vegetables. Then the second one is um, availability of uh, appropriate seed that the farmers can use throughout the year. And also availability of um, uh, pesticides that they can be using to actually to, to prevent the pests from attacking their vegetables. And most of all, we need to uh, build the capacity of the farmers to understand what they are doing and also support them in terms of um, uh, marketing information so that they can have readily available market for their produce. Once that is done, I think these farmers in this particular area can be very can be helped because they have the land, but they don't have water, the, 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 the energy to do the work, but they don't have proper knowledge and information how they can do farming business. Every day after school. Samuel helps to release the goats onto the range. Don't misunderstand, these goats don't all belong to Samuel's family. He releases other villagers' goats as well. This way, he can help reduce the villagers' daily stress. Samuel is a kind, good-natured boy, always happy to help others. Because he helps to release his neighbor's goats, the neighbors gave him an old school bag as a gift. Samuel really cherishes this school bag. Samuel loves to study, but his home is poor. They don't own any furniture. No chairs, no tables. The ground has become Samuel's chair and table. 
Samuel is very creative. He cut open a flap in his school bag. This way, his bag now has an extra panel for stationery. Samuel is drawing a tree, and he hopes this tree will one day bear an enormous fruit because his family's field is small and the harvested crops are few. Because a farmer's income is not enough, Samuel's mother can only use corn to make a gruel, adding some wild grass as vegetables. This family of five can only afford to eat one meal a day. Not only are they not full enough, but there is also not enough nutrition. Not only does Samuel not have a table or a chair to do homework, he doesn't have a bed to sleep in either. So he sleeps on the ground. His family only owns one blanket, which is not enough for everyone. Samuel is very kind. He says that he is old enough and willingly lets his younger siblings use the blanket as he tries to get used to the cold nights. But Samuel says it doesn't matter. As long as he continues to study hard, he will become a mechanic in the future. Then he will have enough money to buy his whole family a blanket each so they will no longer be awoken each night by the cold. In fact, in this southern part of Zambia, there are many families in situations similar to Samuel's family. They have farmland, but cannot produce a decent harvest. They have a house, but no beds or blankets. We only need to give up $39 Canadian a month to allow these families to receive the little extra help that they need. Won't you kindly help? <laughs>